Hey, what's up, Mini Nation? It's your boy Davion, and we are here with our week five builder, team builder. I don't even have the team builder out. <laughs> Darn it, dude. I don't even have the teams up. I'm slack a lack. And we are here with our week five team builder. We're going up against Automatic and his Nemajishabishaba Nuzleaves. And um, I'm going to be coughing a lot because I'm recovering from a cold. If you can't hear it, then sorry, guys. I just. It feels bad. It's going to be like. The next few videos are going to be like that. But if you don't know our team and you're not familiar with our team... <clears throat> oh, gosh. I forgot I was watching Sal's stream. My bad, Sal. I forgot to meet him. Good thing desktop audio's off. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you haven't been keeping up, we did come off a huge win last week against Everton and Polyons with Dragonite picking up five kills. Uh, it was great. I was very happy with that. Uh, so this is our midway point in the season. Uh, we win this game... I, I think we'll be in a really, really good position. Because I want to give you guys the ranks of our conference, and I'm going to give you guys the ranks of our division. Uh, for playoffs, I believe this is how it works. I think it's top three teams. Make it. And from each division, or each conference. So, I'm third. Sitting at a nice third right now. Um, in the conference, second in our division. Uh, we're rocking out. From bottom to top, the Tartukas are 0-4, minus 11. Uh, fifth are the Kingdras, who are my division. Uh, two and two with a minus four. Palisands are next. Crystal Palace have to play the week one. We don't have to play them again. We have the Kingdras again, however. Two and two, minus one. Then you have the D-Knights, who are... Th that's me. Three and one with a plus one differential. Then you have the Shellos, who are three and one with a plus nine differential. Uh, because of that 6-0 that I just handed him. <clears throat> I'm so irritated about that. I play him next week. I'm coming for you, Shellos. Uh, and then the Nuzleafs are four and oh. Undefeated at plus 11. They haven't lost a single game yet this season. So, I want to end that today. I think I built a great team to try to take on Automatic and his his team. It is His team is very similar to the team we played last week. I'm not going to lie. So, we're going in with a very similar strategy. Except, not the same strategy. Not with the same Pokemon. It's a very, it's like very similar. Like, the entire team is the same except one Pokemon swapped out for another Pokemon. Um, and then we have a little bit different of a strategy. Um, going up in this matchup, you don't know our team. We are rocking with uh, Mew, Entei, Jolteon, Araquanid, Hitmonchan, Haunter, Mega Glalie, Dragonite, Florges, Serena, and Licky Licky. And his team over on that side is Thunderous Incarnate, apparently the better Thundee, uh, Necrozma, Arcanine, Shaman. Oh, I hate that Pokemon. Gligar, Kangaskhan, Mega Deontzi, Empoleon, Komao, Drapion, and Greninja. My first instinct is his entire team on the ground. Everything on the ground but Gligar and Thunderous. I have to watch out for hazards this week because of Mega Deontzi. But that's it. Other than Mega Deontzi, <clears throat> I don't have to worry about hazards at all whatsoever. Now, my problem is I didn't run this calc to start the game or before the game. So I actually really want to calc this um, really quick, like, just so it's there. And let me just move. Let me move. Move Pokemon where they're supposed to be because... Let's put them right in the right spot. There we go. Okay, and you can go here. And you're last. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> um, I want to run a calc. I want to run a calc right now because I forgot to run it earlier and I'm mad at myself. Oh, let me clear custom sets because I don't want to mix them up. They're cleared. All right, let me refresh. I'm sorry guys, I know I'm professional, but this is a team builder, and if I don't change it now, I won't change it before the game, and I'm going to be mad at myself, okay? So. Oh no, uh, oh, we die. I know we die. I know we die to it. Never mind. I know we're going to die to it. I just realized where my spread was. Ah, uh, why did I do it this way? I'm pretty sure we die to it. Yeah, we die to it. <clears throat> All right, so now that that's out of the way, we're gonna switch over to here. Uh, I'm sorry if that little impact thing. Um, kicking these off. Sorry, you saw the first two Pokemon. Rip me. Uh, we're kicking these off with our Rapidnade running the Insect Plate this week. Now, the only thing that we have to trip about when it comes to the Insect Plate or with this spread is literally Deontay. That was the exact calc I was running was Deontay. Um, fun fact: I live a Thunderbolt naturally because this isn't Thunder's T. And Thunder's Eye does literally with the Thunderbolt. <clears throat> Max Timid Life Orb does 89 to 106 to the set. And I Oko with Liquidation. 
so there's chances that we'd live it. Um, and I don't know if he'd run. I'm uh, on it, honestly, the, the whole point is to not run against Thunderous and not run against uh, Deontay. Everything else is fair game. Like Arcanine, Necrozma, Shaman. Literally, his three hardest walls right there get bopped by freaking this set. Necrozma doesn't get, live too many le leech lives. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Doesn't live too many leech lives. Um, Arcanine can flare blitz me, but we swallow those, and I can liquidation it back. Um, and then Shaman doesn't take too many leech lives either. So the walls there literally get whittled down by Araquanin. My goal again this week is to get sticky webs up, but it is not necessary to get sticky webs up. Um, I'm literally running it as a fourth move because I had nothing else to run. We're running Infestation as well. We want to trap in Necrozma, we want to trap in Arcanine, we want to trap in Shaman, or we want to trap in Drapion? Greninja. I want to trap in Greninja, Arcanine, Shaman, Necrozma, any of those things will drop to this thing. If I get one of those four things trapped, we're good. I think uh, it'll be very nice to have it trapped in Infestation and then just repeatedly hit it with the Insect Plate moves. Um, we had to run different items, so I had to run Insect Plate this week. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Next up we have Mew. I, bubbles. I know I'm running a bunch of hazards for a team that has Mega Deoxy with Magic Bounce, but I have my way of getting rid of hazards, so it's okay, uh, in a sense, so I'm not really too concerned. Um, I just don't want to force myself to do it, so hopefully Mega Deoxy, if it does come, um, it, my team is very weak to rock, um, but I have switches in. I have switch-ins. I have very good switch-ins to that Mega Deontay. Uh, Mega Deontay uh, speed maxed out at 115, if I'm not mistaken, 110. So, um, like I said, I have options. I have very good options. But we're running with Mew. I've got, I'm literally not running a single steel time move on this team because everything else just hits it for some perfect damage regardless. But Mew is here, uh, rocking Stealth Rock, Roll Play, Drain Punch, and Zen Headbutt. The goal is to, oh my gosh, that voice crack. I knew it was going to happen. The goal is to lead Mew, um, put it up against the Mega Deontay turn one because I highly predict him to predict my hazards. Cue the role play so that I get his ability, he gets my ability, so he'll synchronize, I'll have magic bounce, and if he sets up rocks, he'll go back. So there'll be that cool, like, move. But then I can set up rocks in turn on the next turn and go from there. That was a little secret tech that me and uh, Carson drew up. I gotta put it in the description videos. I've been away and I've been stressed and I've been sick and I'm just... I'm sorry, Carson. Carson, if you're watching this video, Carson, I want you to know. You've been a fantastic person in the Golden D Knights community and I will help you. I'll get you in that description. I promise. I promise. One day I will... This is, I'm literally gonna plug it in now. I'm gonna edit this, upload it. I'm gonna make sure you're there. Okay? I promise. I got you, guy. So, this is the set I'm running. Uh, Bubbles is kind of killing it. Leftovers. Uh, we're going to see how, what we can do. Hopefully, Mew can get up rocks. Fun fact about Araquanid this season, guys. Araquanid and Mew. Um, actually, Mew doesn't apply this. Araquanid has come to every single one of our games this season, and it has died in every single one of our games this season without picking up a single kill. But it's done such a good job. Like, it's literally gotten up sticky whips so Dragonite can sweep. It's... It helped against the Palisades wall some things, and then I sacked it. It helped against the Kingdra's get up stick. Uh, it helped against the Palisades get up stick. Like it's just a good Pokemon, okay? It really clutched up, okay? But anyway, we're gonna move on uh, to Glalie, Mega Glalie. I need to get a Gl Mega Glalie Shiny Sprite right now, and I need to find those HD sprites because those run sprites I have now are trash, okay? Um, but Mega Glalie is here, uh, rocking the Glalite. I had to run max speed because I needed to outspeed Arcanine. I think Arcanine, something hits like, something hits the same speed as me, so I had to, what is it, something hit 100? Oh, it's the Shaman. Shaman, that's important actually, because I need to speed tie it, or make sure I guarantee I speed if he's not running speed, and click return. And make sure I have max happiness this time. But return, Earthquake, Ice Shard, uh, literally does the job. Thunderous, if it gets low enough, Ice Shard takes it, hits it hard. Oh, so if it outspeeds me, like, the count for Mega Glalie. The return kills it, and Ice Shard does over half. So literally, I could kill it after two Rock Switch-ins with an Ice Shard. So that's my goal. Um, it can kill me with Focus Blast. It doesn't kill me with Thunderbolt from full. So we'll see how we go from there. But we want to make sure that Rocks aren't up. Because if Rocks are up, that's Life Orb, obviously. Um, we'll see. I just don't want it to get a Nasty Plot up on me. Um, I want to whittle it down. If he finds a time to Nasty Plot, and I can click any move, any one hitting move against it, I will, and make sure Glalie comes in, clicks Ice Shard, and goes, goes from there. Not, no, no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Um, 
It spikes there for GP. If Mega Deontay goes down to anything on my team, I'm setting up hazards upon hazards upon hazards upon hazards upon hazards. Like, you will not, you will see a sticky web, you will see a stealth rock, and you will see spikes. Like, stealth, sticky, rocks are the most important because I need Thunderous to take damage. I need Thunderous to not come in for free. I need Arcanine to not come in for free. I need, I need Greninja not to come in for free multiple times. Because this team just... In, out, in, out, in, out. I don't need that. He's too many U-turners, too many mods that can do that. I don't need that in this game. So I'm going to just get a rocks up early and force him to switch. Force him to defog, which is his Gligar, or force him to defog with Empoleon. He doesn't have anything that spins, so I need him to defog. And if he wants to bring in Gligar and Empoleon, I hope Glalie's in on both of them so I can just Earthquake or freaking Ice Shard the crap out of that Gligar. Okay, next up we have Kenna, or Serena, Assault Vest. We're running max HP. Uh, max defense, bold, impish nature, excuse me, with attack, rock, assault vest, chop kick, knock off U-turn, Rapsman. I opted for U-turn this game um, instead of no U-turn because I think the switch up, the switch ability is too, is very necessary this game. Because um, if I'm in on a Necrozma, I need to get out. Like, if I'm in on an Arcanine, I need to get out. But 9 times out of 10, that thing's going to outspeed me because it's base 95. Um, but if I have a sticky web up, I'm out. Like, I'm gone. You, you won't see me here. Knock off, I really need item. I need item control. Um, knocking off Empoleon. Um, potential berries, like a Shuka, would be nice. Um, getting rid of Arcanine, getting rid of Necrozma, Shaman, leftovers, those type of things would be nice. Next, we have the two mons that are going to be the clutch, I hope, MVPs of this game. One of them, if it's not one of them, both of them pick up three kills. Like, just, I want them both to flourish this game. We're starting off with Dragonite. Now, aside from Gligar and aside from Thunderous, his entire team is on the ground. That includes everything. Everything is on the ground, but those two. Now, things that are weak to ground include Arcanine, Diancy, Empoleon, and Drapion. Four of his mods are weak to ground. Now, I was gonna run Iron Tail stealing. I was gonna run Iron Tail over Earthquake. Carson convinced me otherwise, and I said that's a better play because Diancy will still drop to it. It'll still drop to it. And then Arcanine will drop to an Earthquake. Um, Drapion, if he wants to switch out, if he wants to go to Shaman, then I can click um, another move the following turn. And uh, Shaman, I need Shaman gone for me to sweep. I need Shaman and Deontay gone, and then I can click, can click Outrage on the rest of the team and sweep. Just like we did last time. De Honestly, if Deontay's gone, I can just spam Outrage. Because nothing else is going to swallow an Outrage unless he's running really defensive Pokemon. Um, Greninja's kind of scary, but its only priority is the water shuriken and we quad resist that or, i'm sorry we resist that so it's fine um we're running adamant because i don't need jolly there's no reason to run jolly i have i hit 80 speed i don't outspeed anything the only thing i guarantee outspeed if it's max speed is necrozma and that's not worth it to me so it's like <clears throat> como is gonna outspeed me gliger's gonna outspeed me well probably not but Deontay's gonna outspeed me uh thunder shame and everything's gonna outspeed me so it's like what's the point in running speed or what's the point of running Jolly if everything on the team's down speed? I wish Dragonite would get a buff and just get 100 in speed. That's it. Like, it, literally, 80 in speed is so bad to me. I know, like, 134 is balanced, but, like, Como has 110 in... 100 in four different stats. Four! This thing is a pseudo, and it has 134 attack, 100, 100. This thing has 110 attack, 125 defense, 100 special attack, and 105 special defense. That's not fair. <laughs> This is the OG Dragon! Give your Dragon some respect, dude! It only has 75 HP, but it has more speed than this thing! Throw some respect! Throw some respect on my boy Dragonite's game. I'm triggered. But he's MVP from last game, so hopefully he comes in and do some clutchness for this game. Lastly, this set is wild, dude. We're running... We are, we After this, we've dubbed this week Tech Week, okay? PK Thunder. Alright, Jolteon, we're running Quick Feet. You heard it here first. Quick Feet. Flame Orb. Thunderbolt. Hidden Power Ice. Shadow Ball. Work Up. Hits everything for great damage. We have HP investments. We have enough speed to outspeed his max speed mod, which happens to be the Greninja. And then <clears throat> we have the rest of it. I just kind of threw an HP and to get auto HP up at 4 4. And this is what happened. So we're going to kill everything with Jolteon. I think Jolteon has a chance to kill literally everything. Hidden Power Ice at plus one kills Thunderous. Necrozma uh, takes two, but I don't think it takes a Shadow Ball very well at plus one. It really depends though. I didn't calc that. Uh, if it's a stealth rock variant, uh, Photog Geyser does a lot, but at plus, I think I need plus two to actually like finish. Yeah, from rocks to win the game. Thunderbolt does more to Necrozma, so I'll probably click Thunderbolt. 
Probably click Thunderbolt. But we'll be fast on everything because literally we'll have a scarf. We're out speed to an out speed a regular speed Greninja and then we're scarfed essentially after that. So it's like, if anything's scarfed, you just got teched on. <laughs> like, if he wants to scarf Greninja to out speed my team, you thought. Like, I don't need Protector on this. I think just, um, if I, honestly, if I led with this and just click plus one, I think I could win the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying because this team is so busted or at least dent his team hard like dent it really hard because I can click Thunderbolt on the Thunders But the Krozma doesn't really scare me too much. Arcanine doesn't scare me too much. Shaman doesn't scare me too much Arcanine has a chance to live some hits. Uh, Deontay is the only thing that really scares me. Gligar is a little scary too But I'm pretty sure it drops to a plus one him. I'm not even lying to you. I'm pretty sure it drops to a plus one him power ice Yeah, the thing's gone to a plus one him power ice so no, not tripping about that. The only thing I'm really tripping about is the Greninja killing me with a uh, Water Shuriken. But that's it. If he's Scarfed, that's what I'm prepping for. Water Shuriken. And it's not Protein, it's Torrent. <clears throat> if Water Shuriken hits five times, it does 34 to 44%. Um, this is naive. I guess I haven't cal- it hasn't calculated max, 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 so we'll see. Um, 50, 40 to 51 if he's not, um, if he's not modest, and if he is modest, 40, 40, 44. So I need to make sure I'm over half before he clicks Water Shirt. That's it. Um, so this team, this mod could get a late game sweep if I get one, literally one off, because then the Crows will be arranged for me to actually hit it. Um, same with Arcanine, same with Shaman, um, same with Drapion. Um, after that, Como kind of drops... The rest of the team just kind of drops this thing, so we'll see. Um, I really hope Jolteon or Dragonite... I hope this Jolteon set works, so I can put it in a thumbnail. <laughs> but if it doesn't, it's fine. Um, I really want Araquanid set to work, too. I really need to trap Necrozma, Arcanine, or Shaman, and then body it. Like, I, it, literally, I can almost guarantee kill something, and that's what I'm looking for. So we'll see what we do there. Any other matter, though, guys, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you didn't enjoy, make sure you like button down below first, because your support is always appreciated. This team's undefeated for a reason, and they have a very scary team. So go shut out, go check out Automatic and the rest of the coaches in the season. Link in the description below. I'm gonna go out of there. Tim and Nietzsche from Moidavion. I'm out.